Hi, my name is Vincent Hoffman, and I am a representative of My Techie South Africa, which is also part of the Make a Difference Foundation. This video serves to showcase the My Techie platform from the service provider logging the job on the platform through to the techie accepting the job, doing the job, through to final invoicing. All right, so now I'm going to show you just how simple it is for a service provider to put uh, to log a new job onto the MyTechie platform. So each service provider will get their own login credentials, and then they'll log in through a, a PC. Flows, new order. Okay, service provider contact person name. So this will just be someone that works at the service provider as a point of contact. Let's put... Michelle Smith, service provider telephone number, anything for now. Please enter your service provider code. Now, let's say well, each service provider will have their own code. So for this, we'll just use SP001. Now, client name. This pertains to the subscriber. So it's the, the client or customer of the service provider. So let's say it's Tom Hanks. That's his number, and Tom Hanks, of course, he lives, uh, let's say he lives in Soweto. Well, East Johannesburg, okay, that's fine. Now, you can just use a pin drop in the, in the Google map here, or you can input the address manually. We're going to confirm the address. Address captured. Special destination instructions, so if relevant. So you could say, Techie must call subscriber or client uh, prior to entry on blah, blah, blah. Beware of the dogs. Price amount, 10,000 Rand, installation details. Okay, so obviously this can be, you can, this, the service provider can put anything that they need to put here. I'm just going to put fiber optic and router installation. Obviously you can put a lot more information here, but this is just for, to show you how it works. Okay, proceed to scheduling. Now the scheduling, this is adjustable by the techie. Once they contact the client, they can find an appropriate time. So for the sake of making this video, I'm just going to make this today. I'm going to make it, actually let's make it tomorrow and I can make the video anytime between now and then. Let's put it for four o'clock. Perfect. Assigned to agents. Now this will go into a pool and any techie within any of these pools will get a notification via the app on their mobile phone and by email. So let's say it was Gauteng East and that's it. Now on my phone I've just received a notification by email and on the app. I will continue the video on my mobile to show you the next step. Okay, now that the job that the service provider has logged on the system, it has been assigned to the agents in a specific zone, which my mobile device is registered at. So I have received two notifications, one from the app itself and one via email. So let's get straight into it. Now the phone is basically logging onto the server, syncing all the relevant data for all the jobs that have been done that are claimable with the data on my telephone. Okay, I'm going to briefly go through some of these tabs. Okay, so right now I'm on the jobs to do tab. Then we've got jobs claimable. That's where we'll start. I'll go there in a moment. Jobs pending, jobs with alerts, jobs completed, and jobs job scheduled. 
Now, I've done a lot of tests on my mobile, so please excuse all the data. I'm just showing you the various tabs. So let's go straight to Jobs Claimable. This is the job that I've just created. Claim job. Let's accept the job. So we'll confirm the date and time for today and let's put it for just a few minutes ahead so we can do the do the test right now. Please enter your MyTechie reference number. Now this is crucial that you get this correct for invoicing purposes. Let's put let's say my techie my reference code is techie double zero five start job. So I've claimed the job and uh, I have already, I've now called the client, I've chosen that time which could be a, day, a few hours a few, or a few days in the future. Now it's up to me to get the relevant materials to install the uh, whatever it is, in this case it's fiber optic and a, a router. It's also up to me to get the necessary sundries like glue, staples, and whatever else is needed. Okay, let me refresh this. Once you have claimed a job, it's usually at least a few hours before you actually do the job, by which time the app would have synced up all of your data. I'm just giving it a moment. Here it is. All right, so here I have an option to look at a few things. I can cancel the job get a PDF report, look at the map, history, or reschedule. I want to do the job. Materials that will be needed for this job. So now this is what you would have to get from uh, the service provider. Let's say it's 20 meters, 20 meters of fiber optic, um, one router, whatever, type of router it should be and yeah let's just go with that for now dispatch now and then you have to collect these materials from the service provider and then once you have arrived at the subscribers premises you press arrived please make sure that your mobile device has internet connection and your GPS is turned on type of job select an option now it could be a survey installation maintenance or repair now in this case it's an installation capture evidence now this is pre-installation evidence so let's say I was um, installing fiber optic if it was underground it would need it you would be taking a picture of the ground before the trench if it was overhead, you would take a picture of the relative area around the site where you're installing the fiber optic as pre-installation evidence. So I'm just going to take a picture outside my window here. And that's it. I'm happy with that. Now you can add multiple pictures and you can add any comments or any write-up that you wish saving evidence so capture more information pre-install if you want or continue with post installation evidence let's continue with post installation so by this time now the te the techie has done the job everything's complete now you'll be taking photos of the work that you have done so technically this will be the same photo. You would have the photo of the fiber optic in place, the router, etc. Done. Now, if you have encountered any problems, there is a button there. You can press that. You can add your comments, add pictures to um, explain and justify what has gone wrong. Anyway, any comments, no need done with job. 
Now, once the job is done, you've captured your evidence, you'd give your device to the subscriber, who would then give you a sort of rating. So is the job completed successfully? Yes. Continue to your customer satisfactory rating. Rating out of five, one is bad, five is good. Okay, well I'm a fantastic technician, obviously. Any additional comments you'd like to add? No, client signature. So let's put, uh, actually it's supposed to be Tom Hanks, but let's put phew, ST, that's fine. The techie signature, whatever. Submit to service provider, that's it. Now, this data, is syncing to the server and you can technically leave the premises go back home and the service provider it has now going to look on they will look on their system they will review the evidence review the customer satisfactory rating and they will release the payment and that's how the process flows okay so now that the techie has finished the job let's have a look at what the what comes next so now the service provider can come here, can see a job has been completed. Let's review. Okay, we've got Tom Hanks. Yep, this is the same same job. Check the date, the time, the relevant people that are connected in notifications. I'm skimming through this. Let's get to the interesting stuff. Installation, pre-installation photo post installation photo, the rating, the signature, and this is actually, I, I'm just going through this quickly, but there's so much information that can be checked. There's the GPS coordinates. Okay, I don't need to look at all that code. Once everything has been reviewed, we, the service provider would come here to closure. Job reviewed, yes. Please give the te my techie a rating out of five. Let's give them a five. Indicate indicate payment status. Done. And obviously this this isn't too important for the techies, but just to show the service providers an example, you can have an Excel sheet where all the data is imported to. Just had to put my password in and all the various tests that I've done over the last few weeks all comes into this Excel file here. This is for invoicing purposes. And that concludes the showcasing of the MyTechie platform uh, from the service provider logging the job onto the platform, the techie doing the job, all the way through to the information needed for invoicing. Thank you.